hi you guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another dollar tree haul i'm super excited to share it with you guys i feel like i'm always excited and i'm always saying that but i truly am really excited to share the finds that i found now these are from two of the walkthroughs that i did they are two different stores but i've combined them together into this one haul i don't know about you guys but when i go into a dollar tree <laughs> I am literally in my happy place. It sounds so strange to say it out loud and for a lot of people they don't understand that but I may have that connection with some of you guys. If you guys walk into a Dollar Tree and you're just kind of like just in a happy place. I mean unless there's like crazy stuff going on in the Dollar Tree or you know you know how it is but for the most part, I walk in there, I'm in my own world, I'm in my zone, I'm just there to walk around, enjoy what I see, find new things. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Um, that's how I feel, because in Dollar Tree, you just, you don't ever know what you're going to get. When you go into Walmart, you kind of know what you're going to get. But when you go into the Dollar Tree, you are taken back sometimes from the items that are there that's at least how i feel um and i always feel like i'm coming out on top when i buy so many items and it doesn't cost that much you know what i mean so it's always a win-win situation there for me at the dollar tree but let's go ahead and jump right in i'm just gonna start grabbing i hope you guys have a while because i do have quite a lot to share with you guys today this seems to be a little bit more of a larger haul for me um so this one may take a little while so go ahead and grab yourself a drink chill a blanket if it's cold where you're at so let's just go ahead and jump right in any of these items are going to be new to you guys i know some of them are new to me i have never seen them at my store and so i was really excited when i saw them um the first thing i want to share with you i saw this previously in a walkthrough and i knew i had to get it when i was editing it I'm like why didn't i pick that up it says wild about you adora bowl ear resistible and animal love by bendin so it's just this really cute book kind of like for your loved one your significant other but it's based on like cheesy animal sayings so like toucan, toucan tango and <laughs> it's so cheesy and you're amazing two of a kind you make my heart flutter just super cute cheesy sayings and I should have grabbed this the first time I saw it but I, I didn't and I regretted it because when I met my husband he was very cheesy he always said cheesy cute little things to me and this really reminded me of him and that's why I picked it up because I figured this would go great in our little love journal that I'm doing for us so I went ahead and picked this one up so if you guys have a significant other your husband's super cheesy, you're super cheesy, anything like that, get it for them. It's cute. It's cheesy, but it's super cute. This was out for Valentine's Day, but I think it's going to be really cool. If you have grandparents or something that you know that are kind of like this, I would give it to them. That's super cute. So I'm going to journal with it though. Um, another thing I picked up, this is down the office supply aisle, and this is by Jot. It's book rings. There's eight pieces. These are the smaller sizes, and I needed to pick these up because I use them for these little, like, plastic um, bag type things. I don't know. They're the plastic bag folder things. I don't even know what they're called, but they go inside of, like, a budget a budgeting binder but I'm using them for uh, journaling things I keep calling it scrapbooking but it's journaling um, so I went ahead and picked this up you can use it for multiple things you guys so if you guys have kids in school and say they have spelling words you can always if they have to write them out on flashcards and study them for the week you can always have them like hole punch the corner of them and use one of these little rings on it and it'll keep them together so they don't lose them that's a, a good way to keep it together um another thing i picked up are these oven baked fudge mint cookies if you guys have not tried these you guys are missing out I rarely buy like cookies and crackers from the Dollar Tree because honestly I haven't found any that I really like. 
Um, there are some chips there and snacks and candy, of course, that I like. But for the, the cookies and the crackers, I have a really hard time. I also haven't had any luck with their like breakfast bars. But these oven baked cookies literally taste like Girl Scout cookies. I swear, if you haven't tried them, try them and let me know. It doesn't even have to be in this video, but leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these cookies. These are actually made in Richmond, Virginia, and it says made in the USA from domestic and imported ingredients. You guys, so, so good. You guys need to pick them up if you like mint cookies. My son does not like them. He says that they taste like toothpaste. So... <laughs> So he doesn't eat them. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing I grabbed were these really pretty crosses. They kind of have that antique feel to them, vintage. They do have these little fake plastic like gems on them, but I thought these would be really pretty in my prayer journal. And this is by Crafter Square. It comes with six pieces. So you can find those down the crafters aisle. I also went ahead and grabbed these. Now these were out during Valentine's Day, but I didn't get them for Valentine's Day. I got them for junk journaling with my love journal that I'm gonna make my husband. Well, it's gonna really be for me. He doesn't care. Maybe he cares a little bit. I don't know, but it's really mine, right? So I'm gonna make this Love Grows Here. Um, they're on these little, it looks like popsicle sticks, but I'm going to use these in my junk journal. They're super cute, perfect for junk journaling and only a dollar 25 for four pieces so i also went ahead and picked up these felt flowers these would look really cute in a junk journal if you attached it to like a paper clip and used it as a page like saver or holding paper in the journal and it'd be popping out the outside i think that that will look really pretty so i'm not sure if i'm using this for my love journal or my prayer journal i'm not quite sure but this was from cracks crafter square they had all different types of flowers all different colors but i really like the pink roses i thought that those were pretty down the office supply aisle i found wait was this down the office supply aisle or where the pens and notepads were they were in one of those places but in that area you know where they usually have that type of stuff <laughs> That makes sense, right? So these are the four home and office mini writing tablets, mini, that's in another language. So they're mini writing tablets and they are only three and a half by five inches. So they're little tiny pads, but these again are perfect for junk journaling or for whatever you really want it to be. But I got the really pretty blue and purple. Is that purple or pink? I think that's pink. That's pink, you guys. Pardon me. Pardon me. Okay, something else I picked up. Now, this is super exciting. If you guys ever need Q-tips, you can pick them up from the Dollar Tree. This comes with 225. It is by the brand Assured. I did pick up a different type of Q-tips the last time I went. Well, not the last time, but it was a few times ago, I think. Um, and they had a smaller pack. I forget what it was, but they were the eco-friendly ones. And the, the tips of the Q-tips were a little bit thicker. They were really good. They were really worth $1.25. Now these ones you get more in a pack, but they are smaller. So if you need more of a precise, like smaller, um, end of a Q-tip for anything that you use them for, these are perfect for that. All right. So the next thing up I wanted to share with you is by Crafter Square. It is a liquid adhesive glue. Now I have not tried this yet, but I thought this would be perfect for my paper crafting because sometimes I put in like jewels and things like that into the junk journal. So I thought maybe this would work well. It says that it works on embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, and trims. Easy to use applicator. So it looks like it'll have more of a precise like tip on here, more uh, slim, you know, so not a lot of glue comes out. So I grabbed that. I also picked up this floral garden mesh ribbon in a couple hauls ago. I picked up, I want to say the tan color and like a burnt orange color, but this one is just the plain white. I thought that I could use this with my junk journals. You can use this for any type of crafting. It is so pretty. This I think is actually used for bouquets of flowers, which would look really beautiful too. Very natural, kind of give it like a simplicity look to it, but still super pretty. 
So I grabbed this. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share is this My Love For You book. It's a writing prompt book for you by me. I think they pulled this out for Valentine's Day. Um, this is by Bendon and it is just so cute. So it just has different prompts in here for your significant other. I thought this would be perfect for my junk journal that I'm doing for my husband. I thought this would be fun because we could write to each other like in this, like take turns. It says like five pieces of pop culture that reminds me, rewind that, just rewind that. I messed it all up. Let me start over five pieces of pop culture that remind me of you of you are why can't i why can't i read that why i don't know didn't sound right let me try it again one more time last time five pieces of pop culture that remind me of you are that's why it sounded weird because i was reading it weird and then they're supposed to write five things or i am and then our ultimate playlist so songs that like reminded us of each other back then or now um, top five things you have my permission to brag about if you had your own sandwich at a famous deli it would be and then you write like what it would be just really cute things it says one question I love for you to answer is if we started a club what it what would it be for um, the hardest we laughed was the time I don't know it's just super cute like look at that isn't that really cute so even if you're not doing a junk journal, you guys, and you have a significant other or you want to get something, you know, for your parents or your kids because they're married, you know, for them to do something like this. I think this is super special stuff like this. I just love stuff like this. I'm super sentimental. So like all of that, <laughs> all that stuff is cool to me. All right, so the next thing I picked up, now these, I was super happy when I saw them because these can get pretty pricey at different places. These are by Crafter Square and they are clear stamps. But these are the ones on Love. So again, these will work great when I'm doing our junk journal. Super cute. That comes with 13 pieces. And I also picked this one up with the different butterflies and dragonflies. There's a bee, um, a ladybug, I think super cute that one only has 12 pieces but those are really nice for a dollar 25 you cannot beat that price for crafting stuff something else i went ahead and picked up this was down the kids aisle sometimes you can find them down the crafting aisle though wait was this in the kids or the crafting this time i don't know because i went to two different stores this day but these are the diy macrame feathers and this is by craft it up i know that you guys have probably seen these before they have a rainbow and a cactus so i actually picked up three of the rainbows previously i made one my daughter made one and my mom made one on our last trip to visit my mom super easy to put together super cute pretty relaxing mine is hanging in my rear view mirror um with you know my cross and stuff so that is on mine my daughter has hers hanging up in her room i'm not quite sure where my mom's is but super cute you guys this comes with two, so you can do one and have someone do one with you if you have a daughter or a kid or nieces or your grandma and you have grandchildren. This would be perfect to do together. Um, this I think I'm going to be using in one of my journals, like to hang outside of the journal. I'm not quite sure, but I thought that this would be a really cool thing to add to it. Now down the book aisle, my stores, I think all of my stores, you guys, do not have a great selection of books. But I didn't really pick this book up to read. I picked it up for journaling. And this is York. So I thought the cover was really cool. And what really caught my eye, I try to look for books that have nice pages. And my last book that I shared with you guys had pages similar to this. I want it to look a little bit more rustic. You can even use the binding here. Um, you can cover this with something, but this, or not binding, the cover. You can actually use the book covers. You just take out the pages from here and you use the, the cover. And you do your own um, signatures inside, which are groups of papers. But I thought that the writing was even really nice to like age these and put them inside of a journal. What I didn't realize is this is called York. 
the clockwork ghost and I'm like I don't know if I want my journals to have any any part of a ghost story in it so I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna use this or not <laughs> I'm a big scaredy cat and I do not want any types of ghost nothing in any of my journals <laughs> so I might not keep that I'm not sure yet I'll have to think about it okay so something else I picked up now these have been around for a while these are the Ryan's world little like character toys that you put together now when I grabbed them I thought that I was grabbing Ryan but this one is actually the red Titan so this one's not Ryan it shows you what you get in the right hand corner here and on the back it shows you which ones come in the collection so I thought I was picking up Ryan, but I actually picked up the Red Titan. I don't know who that is. And then I picked up the panda because I thought he was cute. And then I picked up this little frog because I thought he was cute. His name is Gus. And my son watches Ryan's World sometimes, so I thought that these would be fun to put in our school store for him to grab if he wanted them as a prize that he wins. Something else I went ahead and grabbed. I saw this in like the wedding section and this is details and accessories personalized banner look how pretty that banner is it's all floral you can cover this with other paper as well if you want to use different decorations and then it also has letters in here that you can decorate on this banner now you can definitely use this if you are getting married or you could use it for crafting and that's what I'm going to use it for. That's what I got it for is crafting, but this is a green briar item. So Dollar Tree. Okay. The next things that I'm going to share with you, I was so shocked when I saw these, they are really cute. I could not believe they were only a dollar 25 and I don't think I've ever seen them there before. I don't know. Sometimes I walk past stuff and I don't even see it. Sometimes I'll do a walkthrough and I won't even notice something until I'm actually editing the video. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. Dollar Tree just has too much going on. There's just too much. So anyways, I went ahead and picked up three of these birthday boxes. I have three birthdays um, coming up for three of my nieces. So I thought these boxes would be fun to wrap some of their little items in. But what's really cool is this cover, right? So it's like a shaker card. It has like little confettis inside that actually move around. It's so cute. So this one says happy birthday. And then the side are um, the designs balloons. And then I also, that one's kind of smaller. I also picked up this one and it says happy cake day super cute look at the little confettis moving around isn't that so cute and then we have our birthday candles and then the last one I grabbed was this one that says make a wish and this again has the little confettis and it has the balloons like the first one I shared um, these are a little bit smaller I'll show you the sizes but these are the only sizes that I did see so that's your size difference. Not very, not very much, but there's a little bit of a difference. But I thought those were really cute. I really hope that Dollar Tree comes out with more of these. Different colors, maybe pastel colors, maybe for like Mother's Day or I don't know. They're super cute though. I love the shaker part. All right, so moving on. I went ahead and picked up these Crafter Square pump spray bottles. They come in packs of two. They each have two fluid ounces, or they could carry two fluid ounces. Um, I personally bought these to add water and food coloring to, to spray on paper to make it like dyed, color dyed. Um, and you can use these for anything perfect for traveling, perfect just to throw I don't know some sort of like hair product either hairspray or like a leave-in conditioner if you want to throw it in your purse if you have like that um what is it called like that salt spray to make your hair like beach wavy looking you can put that in here and throw it in your purse you could even put some like room you know if you have the regular pump type of room spray like a fragrance spray you can pour it in here and put it in your purse say you want to use it in the bathroom or something i don't know you guys but you could use these for multiple things i mean what i think this was like on a side 
like a center um, display case or something. But these are little tags for your luggage. They had quite a few of them. I believe I shared it in the walkthrough. But this is by uh, Travel Smart by Con Air, and it comes with two little tags here. And on the back of the tag, you put your name and your address and your number, just in case your luggage is lost they have tags on it. Now, I did not get that specifically for that reason, but these would be great. I I mean, I wish I got these for that reason because that means that I would be going on a trip. I really want to go on a trip, like a nice far away trip. You know what I mean? Like a nice relaxing vacation somewhere. I don't know if I would relax though. I like to sightsee and I like to go see all the things, but maybe like a day or two near the water. And then the rest of the time sightseeing. That sounds good, but I want to go somewhere. Anyways, I'll be using this for the junk journal that I'm going to be doing of all of mine and my husband's items. And I just thought this would be cool for one of the pages where we traveled somewhere to use one of these as, I don't know, something that kind of like just hangs in there or I can tuck it or can hang outside of the page. I'm not quite sure, but they're super cute. They had really cute ones. Let me tell you something real quick though. The reason I picked up the ones with all these little luggages is because when we picked up my puppy, we had to pick him up from an airport and they literally wanted like for decoration in the airport in the baggage claim, it was like a stack of luggage, but like antique luggage. And it was super, I just hit my head. <laughs> and it was super, super high. But this is what that reminded me of when I saw it. So I'm like, I have to get that one reminds me of the puppy. All right, so the next thing I wanted to share is this contact paper. You can use this to line any type of cabinet or drawer in your house, but this I specifically got to try to cover one of my journals with. I thought it would look so pretty and elegant on my love journal, um, maybe with my heart canvas that I got from Timu. That is the verse, love is patient, love is kind. Um, I'm thinking of like cut out the heart and put it on top of this. Um, I don't know, that's my thought so far. I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's what I was thinking. But these are actually, this is really nice. They had all different styles or designs. This says shelf and drawer liner, washable and durable and easy to apply and remove. It's 18 inches by one and a half yards. So that's pretty big. I also went ahead and down the educational aisle, I saw these really cute bulletin board puzzle pieces. Um, there's 12 pieces, it's by Teaching Tree, and I just thought that these were really, really cute to use in a journal. They have all different colors in here, and you know why I got it, you guys. Look at the colors that they have. They are more of a pastel color, and they're blank, so you can write whatever you want, and you can put puzzle pieces together. So I'm thinking, this is my idea that I wanna do with it. I'm gonna have a piece for myself and a piece for my husband and it's like the two pieces that go together, you know? Um, I don't know, I just thought that would be really cute. Even use real puzzle pieces. I just really liked that these are so big and I also liked that they are not so like thick because the thicker the items, the bigger that book's gonna get. So I'm trying to like narrow it down where I can because I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning that the thicker, I mean, I should have known and I did know, but the thicker the items, the thicker the pages, the bigger the book. And I just, I don't want my book to be gigantic. So I'm hoping that helps a little bit, right? Every little bit helps. Another thing I went ahead and picked up were these water brush pens. It comes with a pack of two and this is also from Crafter Square. I had never seen these until this walkthrough. Again, I probably walked past it. You know what I really think it is? I think when you go through that store and you're looking for specific things or things that have to do with something, different things will catch your eyes. You know what I mean? Like if I were redoing my kitchen, I would be in there specifically paying more attention to the things that have to do with my kitchen. But because I am now into junk journal, my mind is on junk journaling. My mind is also on homeschool all the time because I'm a homeschooling mom. So when I go in there, I'm constantly looking for stuff for the kids, for education. Those things just pop out to me because that's something that is a huge part of my life. So 
I think that that's why that happens at the Dollar Tree too. You know what I mean? Anyways, <laughs> I keep going off subject here. But um, again, these are going to be really cool for junk journaling because I found out a trick that you can use when you're ripping napkins. You just use a paintbrush and water and you do like your design that you want to kind of rip around that napkin to make it look ripped and not just cut. And they used a brush with water. And so when I saw this, I was like, the brush already has the water. Now I don't have to worry about getting the water. Anything that makes your life easier and faster and less cleanup, right? So I went ahead and grabbed this. You can also use this for actual water coloring, which I may use as well. So I don't know. I don't know how well I do with water coloring. Now, the next two items I know that you guys have seen previously, they have been around for a while, but I have not been able to find them in the stores that I've been going to. But I found it in the store that I don't visit often. And I'm so happy I visited it because I was really pleased with that store. Um, but I went ahead and picked up two of these wall, uh, wall shelves. Now, I had picked up one months and months and months ago, right when they first came out. And it was more this shite. <laughs> this shite. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was more this shape, but it was a little bit narrower. It wasn't this thick. But I saw this one and I knew I had to have it for my daughter. She uses the other one and it's perfect. She could put her little knickknacks on it. We just hang it on the wall with one little nail and you put the rope through the little holes and you put the little hoop right here through it. You can see it here. If you aren't aware of what this is, this is what it looks like on the wall. And I love the natural wood look. I think it's so pretty. I also picked up this one here. That is what they look like. Again, they come with the two planks the string and then the little hooks are already attached to it. Don't mind my heater if you guys hear it. It is freezing outside and I I already like lowered it so it's not constantly on, but it's too cold for the kids. So, I I it's going to be on. So, I'm sorry if it's loud. <clears throat> okay. Another thing I grabbed are these Crafter Square stickers. They have 7 pieces. Again, these are on love Look how pretty. They look very vintage or like um, antique type look. Romantic. That's what I want to say. They look really romantic, don't they? The colors, just really pretty. So I thought that these would be nice in the junk journal. You can definitely do like a little love note to your husband or I don't know. You can craft with this though. But aren't those really pretty? I really liked them. I also went ahead and picked up these placards super exciting to share with you guys. I love the placards. I think that these are probably my favorite. I don't know. I haven't used these ones. I used the purple ones a while ago and then we used the eco ones for a while because I had got like four bags of them and those were pretty cool. I'll do a review on them maybe. I don't know. They have like two strings though, like two floss. They kind of are harder to get in your teeth, but they worked good. I think but I picked up these placards. They come with 60 of them. It's a great buy, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So pick them up from there. Down the party aisle, I found these really cute treat bags. They give me Minnie Mouse vibes. And I grabbed this for my junk journal because I've been to Disneyland with my husband and I'm pretty sure one of our trips are in my little stash. So I think I may use this one for something, um, like a pocket or something, but aren't those so cute? Oh my gosh, I love them. I also went ahead and picked up this set of stickers. This is just the alphabet and it comes with 121 pieces. I just really liked the colors. I thought that they were pretty and I like how they have like the, the trim around it that's kind of like the silver foil. I really like it. So I grabbed that. Down the floral aisle, I grabbed this floral garden lace burlap ribbon. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I really like that. I've been on the hunt for a specific lace and I have not found it anywhere. It's not on a roll, it's like looped. I don't know how to explain it, like on a tag, but it's a thin cream lace and I cannot find it anywhere. It's driving me crazy. So I went ahead and grabbed this though because I really like this one too. Really pretty. And then also down the floral 
aisle, I went ahead and picked up this ribbon. I thought that it was pretty. I like the natural look to it. Can you guys even see it? Let me take off the, um, let me see if I could open it. Oh, and it's even wired. I didn't even pay attention to that, but it's wired. I wonder if that one is wired as well. I like the wired ones. It makes it a little more, um, you know, sturdy, but that's really pretty. So I'm really happy with that one. You could definitely wrap floral arrangements in this stuff too. That would look so pretty. All of these that I picked up today, um, I think will look really nice with that. Yeah, these are also wired. Oh, this one's so pretty. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Isn't that so nice? All right, so the last items I got are from the beauty aisle. And I am really, I'm always worried about what I'm putting on my face because my face is super sensitive. But I need something for these under eye circles. And I know that some of it is genetic or just that like my skin is too thin here so you can see my veins. It just drives me crazy. It could be mixed with like not getting the appropriate sleep I need. You know, I have kids, I have a puppy. Like I just, I don't sleep I, like I used to. My mind is always going. I always have things to do. Um, but I found these under eye concealers. I think that these are new. They're by Be Pure. I wasn't sure which one to grab. So I grabbed fair and I grabbed medium. Um, medium I'm thinking is too dark for me right now, but during the summertime, I could probably mix these two together and it would be my, my tone. Um, but these have hyaluronic acid in them. Um, so yeah, so I picked up both of these. They're supposed to be hydrating, so I'm not quite sure how they work. I don't know if they work well, but I thought it was worth giving it a try. Now for me, I always look up the ingredients in here and I usually do them do it after I buy them just because I don't want to stand in the aisle for 10-15 minutes looking up different <laughs> different ingredients that would take me all day because literally you guys look at these ingredients like look at that list that that is a list and I'm not trying to go through it all at the Dollar Tree for one item so I will be looking this up just to make sure that, you know, there's no red flags on the ingredients, but I went ahead and picked up two of them. So hopefully they do something for me. Hopefully they help me out a little bit, but I grabbed those, but I think that's it. I think I shared everything that I hauled. I told you it was going to be a long one. I hope you guys stayed to the end. Let me know what you guys thought about these items. Are any of these items new in your stores or am I just sharing repeats with you guys that you guys have seen? That's how it goes sometimes though in the Dollar Tree world. Some things you see and some things I see. It's just, it's just, it's the pick of the draw. I don't know, Dollar Tree's crazy like that, but I guess it keeps it fun and interesting and engaging for all of us so that we can all have new things at different times and share it with each other. But anyways, with all that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and leave me a comment down below. It really helps my channel, and it is a free way for you to help me with my channel. So that would be wonderful. I would truly appreciate it. And that's it, you guys. So be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.